Hi, I'm Lee. Welcome to the channel. I hope you're having a lovely day. I'm a short, overweight, middle-aged white dude. I've got thinning brown hair, black gloss. I'm wearing a black t-shirt with my new logo on it. So am I. So Simon. And we're sitting in, our in my, ow, my Tesla Model Y, not yours. Um, because in this video... We've I'll got something we need to tell you. <laughs> no. Go on. I am going to talk a little bit about the referral program, but I'm going to use some of my referral points, and I've never done this before, so you get to watch it live. For those who aren't aware, uh, Tesla has a referral program. Now, it's not active in every country, so check that it's available in the country where you are. But if it is available, you'll have a little um, sort of cube in the top right hand side of your Tesla app and if you go into that it'll then show you how many referral points you have and what you can do with slash for them and refer people. So to send a referral I'll, I'll just show you that really quickly at the bottom where it says refer now you tap on that and then it shows you a whole bunch of contacts which you don't want to just blast everyone in your contacts book. You can but don't but if you tap on the little share icon on the top right hand corner and then say you want to share it to an email or you just say you want to copy, that will copy the link and then you can paste that link and then send it to other people. So that's how you set up your referral code. Now you can see at the top here that I actually have 10,000 referral points already. Thank you so much for everyone who has used my referral code. I, I can't tell you how appreciative I am. It, you can. It's You're a, telling them. Yeah, it's a lot. Thank you so much. He does. He was uh, telling me earlier how much he appreciates you. So if you have a look, it shows some people have ordered and some people have had it delivered. They only get the points when someone's car is actually delivered. So they use your referral points to order the car, but then it only you only get the points when it gets delivered. You can also use the referral code now to uh, book a test drive. So if any of you use my referral code to book a test drive, I'd be most appreciative. You find the referral code in the top corner. And also a link in the bottom, and I might put a QR code over Simon's face. Just here. Yeah. Um, so if you use that code either to purchase your car, that's a referral code, but you can also use it just to book a test drive, I get 100 points, which is, again, very nice. Thank you very much. Now, what are the things that you can use those points for? Well, let's have a look. So if I tap on redeem down at the bottom, it shows featured products. So you can use it for supercharging miles. Um, it's nice that it's called supercharging miles, but it shows it in kilometers. Um, you can use it for enhanced autopilot for three months. That's 8,000 points. You can use it for premium connectivity. I actually think the premium connectivity for 2,500 points is probably your best sort of long-term thing you get. So that means your car is connected with its cellular connection. Normally I pay, I think it's $12 a month for that. Right. Or $11, so you get that anyway. Oh, that's quite good. Yeah. Um, but I pay for that, so I'm just going to, I'm not going to do that one. Uh, you can, you know, buy kids' shirts, hoodies. Merch merch all that kind of stuff did we mention that merch is now available by the link in the it may not be available just yet but it'll be available soon if it's not check the link there might be a link um i think also one of the best value things here is you can buy a wall charger for eight thousand points oh wow you can get um gemini wheels for that many points also the mobile connector so that's the connector that you can use to just plug into a normal wall socket unfortunately Tesla's don't come with that anymore but you can use your points for that um, now also if you use someone else's referral code to order your model 3 or model Y you as the purchaser get $750 off and three months of enhanced autopilot thrown in for that so Bargain. yeah so 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 the referrer gets points and you get some some pretty good deals but I'm going to use these points. It's always a big juicy butt, isn't there? I'm losing weight. I'm going to use the points to get Enhanced Autopilot for three months. Now, if you want to see what Enhanced Autopilot is all about, I did a video about it. Link up in the corner, down in the description. I'll cover some of that stuff in this video later on as well. Um, but you need to budget this. So Simon and I are on a pretty long drive at the moment. So we've got four hours to get back to Melbourne from where we are. Also, I'm driving up to Adelaide um, next month, so I think I'll get good value out of the, the long driving enhancements of Enhanced Autopilot. So let's go ahead and tap on Enhanced Autopilot, and it shows the VIN for the car that you're going to apply that to. And now I tap on, actually, so I'm just going to turn this camera on. The vestibule in And so on, if you can traveling. turn that on and start recording, because I think... It should show up on the screen. That was another thing I was going to ask you while just while we're in this process. Yeah. What happens if you activate something and, like, we're three and a half hours away from home or whatever we are. Say later. Yeah. Um, if you activate something and somehow the car gets a bit angry with you and won't go anymore, is that possible? 
I mean, look, anything's possible. I mean, it's possible, completely possible in, in my car as well. Yeah. I mean, any, dirty I've, I've yet to have it happen. Sure. Um, but again, you can order service and uh, roadside assist through the app. From the app, yeah. So now, now if you did have um, the upgrade, it would show up in here. Um, or if you go into software, I think here it'll show autopilot that's included. I think it's going to show up in here for the for the enhancing. So let's let's put that out of the way for now. And then, yep, so I'm going to select my car. But um, I've only got 10,000 points. I'm using 8,000 of them. So here we go. Select it. Um, three month enhanced, enhanced autopilot, 8,000 credits. That's the car that you wanted to do. Redeem. Dun dun dun! Um, oh wait, no. There's there's a final thing. So there it goes. Okay, you, you're going to use eight thousand credits for three thousand. That's the car. Yes, it's definitely the car because I've only got the one. Um, and redeem credits. So I'll have two thousand points after this. Redeem credits. Dun dun dun! Order received. Your car will upgrade. What? What? That? So, touchscreen will reboot to apply change. Okay, so to reboot the touchscreen, for those who weren't watching, it suddenly popped up and your order. Ah, okay. Job done. Okay, it's just doing it. Okay, <laughs> fine. If it wasn't doing it, um, you hold down the two dials on the steering wheel for 10 seconds. Oh, so your autopilot package has been upgraded. Enable your new features in autopilot settings. Okay, so let's go to autopilot. And now, so we've got navigate on autopilot. So we can now, so basically how that works is when you've got like the, the maps turned on and you're on a highway in particular, it'll just navigate for you. So it'll go, it'll indicate and overtake cars. If there is an off ramp from one highway to another highway, it'll take that off ramp and get you onto the other highway. If it's just an off ramp, it'll take the off ramp and switch to normal autopilot, excuse me, or standard autopilot as you get off the highway. So that's, pretty cool now it goes navigate autopilot does not make your model y autonomous very important it's not driving the car for you um like other autopilot features this is a, a you know you... the driver is still responsible for the car at all times very important yeah. um when navigate is enabled you determine which lane you need to be in and when in addition ensuring you'll reach destination so yeah i'll leave this on for a little bit so you can freeze frame it that's and... damn cool that is cool and we go yes now you can customize how it navigates so if i go to customize so enable start at every trip yes um speed based on lane changes <laughs> mad max mad max no i'm so so i mild I, you're mild i'm mild how what i think this is so so speed well i could just tap on the eye and it'll tell me um, so navigator auto can be customized to your preference when enabled uh, will suggest lane changes into faster moving lanes in the event that your model Y is traveling slower so basically depending on how slow the car is traveling in front of you if you are driving a hundred in a no if the car in front of you is doing 90 in a hundred zone if you're on mild it may not overtake if it's on mad max if the car in front of you gets the 99 <laughs> sorry <clears throat> Not to scale in terms of what Simon just no, did, no. but that was a scene out of another movie, uh, which was uh, Empire Records. For those of you as old as me, that is a great movie. I that is that a movie. fantastic movie. I've still got it on VHS, but you can't play it on anything. I've got two VHS players. You're so old. <laughs> yes. I've only got one now. Require lane change confirmation. So again, I have this turned on on because if you have it on on no, then the car is just going to change lanes. Whenever, Where, it whenever it feels it is appropriate. So again, by default, requires the driver to confirm that, that you're going to change lanes. I'm going to keep that on. By the way, if anybody can refer, uh, if anybody can tell me in the comments who that while driving was trying to run over in the film, bonus points for you. Um, yeah, so those are the settings. Now, the other thing to look at that you get with Enhanced Autopilot is the summon and, and um, custom summon feature. So now if we go into my Tesla app, you can see there that now there is a summon button. And if I tap on that, I've got normal summon and I've also got smart summon. So normal summon, now it's not going to work because the car's actually plugged in. The car's not going to move when you're plugged in. But how normal summon works... <laughs> it could be funny if it did. It would be... <laughs> it would be bad all round. 
Um, but how this works is so if you're stuck in a tight top sp parking spot, or let's say your garage is really narrow, someone will make the car go forward yeah. or backward by itself. Cool idea. That works pretty well. Smart summon. How that works is that if you're in a parking lot like we are now. Let's do it. You want to do it? How do we do it? Okay, we'll do it. No, we'll do it. Okay, well, we've got to unplug first. Yeah. So, I'll, okay, so we'll unplug and Simon's going to, I'll keep the audio, but Simon's going to film it on his phone and we'll get the car. So how it works is it only works in parking lots, so it will not work on public roads, but you can make the car come to you. So we'll go over there in the corner. Yeah. And yeah. we'll make it come to us. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've never done it in a parking lot with other cars. What if it goes wild and smashes into stuff? Well, then this video won't make it to my insurance supplier. Elon. He doesn't supply me with insurance. No, but he probably no. supplies you with Okay, so let's... All right, okay, so you want to stop recording it. Wait, wait, last thing. Uh, Enhanced Autopilot also gives you uh, auto park. So it'll park... The car will park itself, but... I have that in my Kia. Yeah, it's it's pretty common. So and it's not great for. I don't idea. mean to say that as, but like every now and then I've got to do a smug thing because you know Tesla drivers smug. Smugometer. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to get a graphic and put up a smugometer. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's switch off and start trying smart summon. You go into the summon function, and then it says, so and then in the corner where the globe is. No, that's not it. How do I do the smart summon? Oh, it's warming up. So I can do the normal summon at the moment, so I can just make the car go forward. So that's easy enough. And then I can make it go backwards. Oh, hang on, wait. Yeah, there we go. So now we can do smart summon. So, I, so at the top, in the top right-hand corner, you can either go go to position or come to me. And then you can see on the bottom of the app, it says come to me. So I'm going to hold down on come to me. And now as soon as I let go, the car will stop moving. So at any point, if I'm nervous about what it's doing, I can just let go of this button and the car <laughs> will stop. Yeah, no one in there. And that's going to do the whole back up, come forward, back up, come forward. It's, so I don't know why it didn't just turn. It's literally going to... And there we go. It came to me. <laughs> I love it. I, it's a bit freaky, but I love it. We're here in the place. We've, we've finished all the filming. Thanks so much to Brett, the manager here, who was fantastic. And it's a really cool setup here. If you're coming oh. through, Highly recommend giving it a try and looking at looking at pushing up st pushing out stuff like this here as well, like everywhere as well. But now we're going to head back to Melbourne. Um, now we only we were slow charging here because it's it's just an eleven kilowatt charger, but better than nothing. Hey, we just charged entirely from the sun, the solar. That, that's pretty cool. Off isn't the it? roof. Yeah, that is really that cool. Was very cool. So now let's go ahead and head back to Melbourne, and I'm just going to go to Richmond that's IKEA. It. Because um, by the time we get back to Melbourne, we will need meatballs. <laughs> and let's see I what... I heard that about you. So now because we're at 54%, we wouldn't make it all the way to Yeroa. So it is suggesting that we go to Wodonga first. And it's saying that we'll charge for 20, 20 minutes in Wodonga. That sounds... It seems like a lot. Or maybe we just... Okay, well, look, let's, let's, let's see what, what let's it says. Let's go visit Wodonga. We haven't been there for ages. We haven't. So let's head to Wodonga. Um, oh, wait, I'm going, to do, I'm going to remember this time to do a trip. So um, we'll call this... Uh, Duda. 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 Save and show in trip card. And we won't show that in trip card. Yep, cool. Okay, so now in our trip oh, card, that's, that's going to show us <laughs> how we're doing. That's cool. So let's head out and see how this drive back. And now we've got enhanced autopilot to use oh, yeah. on the way back. So that's mm. going to be, I, don't, I mean, it's not, it's not going to be hugely different, but... It'll be different it'll enough. Be different enough. Except the road, Jack. Cool. 
Cool, so we've arrived at Wodonga uh, Supercharger. It's saying the estimate is that we will charge for 20 minutes here. If we didn't charge here, we would arrive in Euroa with minus 9% and we would need to charge for 30 minutes. Not, not sure how that works. But um, yeah, so we're going to plug in here and um, yeah, then we'll, we'll, we'll charge up. Um, oh, 60 minute general parking. No, so, so see there, it does have, they do have general parking for 60 minutes. We just, so there's a, there's a car that parked, a non Tesla parked in the spot next to us at the, at the supercharger. But it looks like they do have um, non Tesla parking here if, if it's not. So we can't taken. be outraged. No, no. Well, I'll, I'll find something else to be outraged about. At my age, it's easy. Okay, let's plug in and we will see you in 20 minutes. So just quickly, I thought you might be interested to see what sort of charge speeds we're getting. Now, because the car is already at 49%, we're probably not going to charge particularly quickly. So this car can charge at 170 kilowatts, I think. Um, and we're only charging at 120. Look, only. I mean, 127 is pretty good. But yeah, we're only charging at 127. And see, there you go. It says 10 minutes remaining to continue trip. So it is a bit odd that it said we were going to be here for 20 minutes. And as soon as we plug in, it says we only need to be here for 10 minutes, but if we only be here for 10 minutes, we better run and go grab some food and use the bathroom and we'll be back in 10 minutes. How's your sandwich? It's not bad. Oh, good. Sometimes See. cafes like that, um, they have all the filling. I just got chicken salad. They have it in um, those metal, cold metal containers. Oh yeah. And so the filling's really cold. Well, a day like this, I mean, it's, it's pretty warm now in the sun, so I mean, yeah. I wouldn't mind. So, back to you, dear viewer. Um, so we charged for about 10 minutes, and we're up to, what are we, 78%? Oh, wow, we're up to 78%. And it's saying we should be at 25% by the time we get to Euroa. What Simon wants to say is the boat, yeah. yeah. Um, now, also, because we're on Navigate, so this can... At least I have the mic fortitude to know not to talk while you're doing it. That was good. Um, this symbol here indicates that it is going to use um, navigate on all. So once we get onto the motorway, um, highway, sorry, highway, um, we'll have the different autopilot thing. So that's going to be pretty cool. And everyone avert your eyes from my code and away we go. Hey. You're going to ask me that question again. Metal thunder. No. <laughs> Well, it's in terms of how I, I don't know, I don't know. I'm still. Yeah. Well, first of all, so it definitely feels Sorry, like for the viewers at home. I am going to ask the question okay. again, just in case Lee decides to use it, because it's interesting. I think from the perspective of there are a lot of YouTube channels around EV and solar and things like that, renewables that you see pop up every week. And I just said to Lee, how does he decide whether the return on a video like this, you know, we've taken a day, we've driven from Melbourne to Albury, faffed about, <clears throat> met some fun people driving back. How do you work out whether doing this is is worth your while? And I said to Simon, just spending time with you, Simon, makes it worthwhile. And, that's and then I went, I threw up in my mouth. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, the easy answer is, by the way, we're about to get onto the highway, so you're going to see how the whole navigate on auto thing works very shortly um so it might be interspersed with this conversation heavy metal thunder what is copyright. that copyright i only sang four words i don't know how copyright works well i know how copyright works but not how copyright strikes work it's like 10 seconds or 15 seconds 15, no, 15, well, it's 15 long when i worked in on youtube let's not find out um not. so well, look, let's 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 first get up to speed. And oh, by the way, the front of the car is full fee. It is. It is. Um, Do you clean it? Yes, it will. It's supposed to rain a lot tomorrow, so maybe don't not change tomorrow. lanes. I want to see it change lane itself. Well, no. First, I need to get onto the highway to be on the lane right. to begin with. Okay. And so there we go. We are on the highway. And now you'll notice when I double, actually, this will be a good, so when I double click, you notice that instead of, now it's saying, do you want to, do you want to overtake? So I've hit the indicator, apply some 
Now it's not going to do it because this truck's coming up my rear end. But it says apply pressure to the steering wheel. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm going to take over because this guy's coming in too fast. He could have done it. He could have, yeah, but you know what? I didn't want to... That, that guy was just coming up too fast and it was taking too long to... to... <clears throat> and I think it'll take a little while for you to get used to how it feels when it does that stuff. Yeah, so there we go. So now, so you get a solid white line. And now if I... Okay, so now it's slowing down. And now let's see how this works. So now... I'm going to wait for this car to pass us. Actually, Simon, do you want to just grab your phone out and just film me, or just film outside the window so, so the audience can see sort of what's going on? So there's a yellow car just coming up on our side, and so I'm going to indicate once the car's almost past us, and you can see that it's showing that it knows the car is there, so it's not going to change lanes yet, and now the car just changed lanes for us. Now, if I'd set autopilot to sort of automatically do that and not be monitored, then it would just do it. Let me just go and set us to 110. And we'll see a little bit more sort of how this works as we drive. I've got to kind of remind myself, we had it briefly for, um, so for, for the month of December, Tesla gave it to everyone in Australia for free for, for the month of December. Of course, well, the end of December, beginning of January. Of course, I was in New Zealand for pretty much that entire time. Okay. So, so I had like three days before we flew out to try it. And then I had like two days to try it out when we got back. So didn't really get a chance to use them, which is when I made the video, which I'll link up above as usual. Um, but yeah, okay, so watch. So let's, let's indicate now, let's get into the other lane. So if I indicate, it says apply slight turning pressure. So I apply and there we go the car changed lanes for us how was that it's pretty good pretty smooth pretty and smooth. now let's get back so apply some pressure and again it's not a big deal but just being able to do that without having to turn autopilot on and off well having to turn autopilot back on every time you overtake. Oh, that's right, because you have to turn autopilot back on after you do it normally, don't you? Yes. So right. just, I mean, look, I don't know if it's worth $5,000, but it's nice, it's, 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 it's an extra level of convenience. Oh, this is good Portello. For those of you playing at home, I don't know if you've had Portello, but this is, Portello was from when I was a kid. Not a sponsored link. Not a sponsored link <laughs> product. But that, that's, what is this? Hearts Portello. It's damn good. Good flavor. I don't even know what Portello flavor is, but now, that's. Now I'm tempted. <clears throat> oh no, too late. This truck's on our left. What? Oh no, there's a truck coming up my rear end. So I might just take over and just dip into this gap between these two trucks um, because that truck is not going to be happy with me in the right hand lane only doing the speed limit how dare i you know how dare you i wanted to show you something quite interesting so we're just coming up you can see on the on the on the screen here they were coming up on a truck um, and it did this just recently so I think it's going to do it again where basically once you overtake a vehicle with the enhanced autopilot once you overtake and there's nothing in front of you the car itself will suggest getting over into the left hand lane so let's see if it does it again so we've just passed the truck and there we go it has said confirm yep so I just apply the turn signal and a little bit of pressure and it so so it was the car that actually suggested that we get into the next lane and it sort of did it mostly for me now I think I'm actually going to change the setting so if we go into autopilot now we can't change this while we're oh maybe we okay we can change it while we're driving so now the car will be a little bit more 
you should overtake now than what it was before. I'm still keen to see what Mad Max setting is. Do you want to set it and see what happens? <laughs> yeah. Come on! Okay. Now that might not apply until we... Oh, we might need to stop, stop. Yeah. But let's, let's... Well, of course, now that we want to do that, there's no one, no one in front of us. <laughs> yeah. But in answer... What? Sega, what is this? The big shovel? Well, well, we'll tap on it and see. There's a photo. It's literally it's, it's a, big, a shovel. big shovel. Oh dear. Now has that cancelled out? No. It, oh, that's yeah. Well, that's cool. That doesn't. Cool. Ca I mean, you'd expect it to do that, but you don't no, necessarily I, think I it did will. That too, something just before. I tapped on a cafe when we were. Oh well, that's good that it, that you can sort of check the map without. Yes. Ah, oh, the sun's the out. Big shovel should be just there somewhere. Well, if it was big there enough, it is. We'd, oh yeah, and that's there it is. big enough for Simon to see. That's ridiculous. It's not even that big. Haven't they seen the big banana? Oh, that big prawn. How do you think they dug up the... No, you don't dig up bananas. Now, in answer to your previous question, because I realised I didn't actually answer, the, answer your question about how I decide oh, yes. whether a video is worth it or not. At the moment, I'm not sure. Fair enough. So, at the moment, I've, I've found that road trip videos seem to do quite well. They seem quite popular with the viewers. So, I think, like, a road trip like this, particularly because it's only one day, Yeah. yeah I think it's... And, 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 I mean, look, we... We tried to pack a lot in today. I think we should come do another road trip up to see those solar panels. That's remarkable. Yeah. So we're, we're actually, we're coming up shortly. On the way up here, we drove past fields upon fields upon fields of solar panels. We're going to find out who's installing those. Oh, massive. And we'll, um, we'll see if we can get some footage. I don't know how well we'll get footage of it from the car on the way through, uh, but we'll try and get you some footage. And if I have, we'll put some B-roll over here. If we haven't... You're still, you're still looking at our faces. Yeah. Um, yeah, that that'll be really cool. But yeah, so so road trip videos seem to do quite well. Um, update videos seem to do quite well. I would like my instructional videos to do a little bit better because I, I want more people to learn how all the stuff works. Mm -hmm. So if you, dear viewer, can share my instructional videos with anyone you can think of far and wide, that would be much appreciated. Um, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure how, like you, what, what you video. Enjoy, you enjoy making them. I do enjoy making Look, the, And the, I know you as a person like to share information and yeah. like help people. So that. Now, oh, that's interesting. Navigate an order ending in, so according to the car, this is not a highway that we're on at the moment. Is it, I wonder if it's because of that road. Interesting. Because, I mean, we haven't gotten off the road, we haven't gotten on the road. Right. And it's gone back to... So, standard autopilot is the two lines. Now, the, the the changing lanes still works for standard autopilot as well. You don't need to be navigating on auto for that. So, again, I can just put the indicator on, give the steering wheel a bit of a twist. Ah, rocks. Rocks. Oh, I hope I haven't screwed. And now it's come back onto... Oh, that's a bit odd. Ah, this truck's bashing us with rocks, stones, I suppose. But this is, I hope my PPF is PPFing. That's not a protection film? I think that's what it is, yeah. Pathetic protection film, if it doesn't work. That too, yeah. Um, so yeah, no, I, I do enjoy these roads. It's, it's a long day. Yeah. And, I mean, we've actually tried to film... We're basically trying to film like three videos in a single day, mm. where we're, we're doing a video about the road trip. We did a video about um, the, the the IGA that we with all the solar panels. That's and a pretty impressive roof. It is an impressive. The, the thing though that got me really excited about that. But by the way, if you, I'm not sure which order these videos are going to come out. So that video might be coming out after this video. It may have come out before one. If it's come out before, I'll put a link up in the corner. If it's come out afterwards and you're watching this afterwards, I'll still try and put a link up in the corner. Otherwise, look for my video on IGA in... Baron... Duda. Baron Duda. Baron Duda. Um, the thing that got me really excited is I think the way that they've set up their charges is phenomenally clever. Yeah. So the way they've set their charges up is it's an 11, you know, it's a three-phase 
11 kilowatt charger if you're in a Model 3, Model Y. Um, if your car can do 22 kilowatts on a three phase, it'll do that. But their charger, it's free, but it'll only charge you 20% of your battery. And the idea behind that is you come to shop at the supermarket so you can charge while you're shopping. And then when you're done shopping, you go somewhere else. So it's, it's literally one of those, you're not stopping to charge, you're charging while you're stopped. Yeah. And because they've got the solar panels, they're, it's costing them nothing to charge the car. Which is so good. So cool. Now, let's see. We've just passed the truck. There's no one in front of us. The car should. There we go. It's saying change lanes. So I indicate. And when it's safe to do so, it, it changes, changes lanes for me. Yeah, that's neat. That is, that is pretty cool. I do avoid a lot of people, um, especially with trucks, like, because trucks can't see people very well down over the front of their cabins. You know, merging back into a lane or merging into someone. Well, I'll tell you, and, and, and I hope she doesn't mind me mentioning this, but my wife, Mandy, is, 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 is she's a really great driver, but she's quite nervous driving on highways, particularly around trucks, like you mentioned. Right. And she's really excited about having this for a few months, being able to sort of, she's not going to let it think for her kind of thing, but it's like having a few set of extra eyes when you want to change lanes. So, so yeah, so I think, I think it's pretty cool. I still need to work out whether I can just, in, like when you've overtaken and it's time to get across, I think I just indicate and then it doesn't. But if I want to, the way I've got to set it, but if I want to change lanes, or I want it to change it, I have to indicate and then I have to touch. Okay, I didn't do anything and it just came up and just warned me that that car was in my blind spot. That's pretty cool. Did you indicate? No, I didn't touch anything. Well, maybe that's a bug. Maybe it's not supposed to do that. Quick, report it. Maybe when I'm not driving. It's a good idea. Yeah. Oh, I wonder, Tesla people, can you use the voice thing? Like, you know, you hold down this and you bring up the voice thing. Can you use that to report a bug? That'd be cool. Well, let me try. I'd like to report a bug, please. Thank you for your feedback. but I've got to actually report the bug. But yes, you can use the voice thing to report a bug. They're going to be very... Sorry, Tesla, I, I, I just reported a bug that said I'd. I. So... Yes. The bug was me, not not not, not the Tesla. Apologies. Cool. Well, let's... Um, yeah, I'll shut the cameras down and we'll catch you in uh, Euroa. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. So it's... Boom, boom, boom. Boom, ah! Boom, boom, boom. So it's, it's it's interesting that so the the the, the navigator and autopilot thing, um, it seems to be that whenever there's a crossroad like a road crossing, the highway, um, it'll come up and go you know, navigator and auto turning off in, 100 meters, 70 meters, 50 meters, whatever, and so it'll just go to normal standard autopilot. While we're crossing past the crossroad, and then once we cross past it, yeah, it'll it'll turn back on. So. I also will say, I will say, I'd like to point out, I know how much you love that phrase. Um, it's good, it's good. I, I'm getting better at the whole indicating thing, because I noticed, like, the first couple of times I tried to do it on camera, I, I pushed the steering wheel too far, and I actually turned off autopilot. Yeah. So I'm getting better with, like, now when it wants to change lanes, indicate, give a little thing of the steering wheel, and then it'll do its thing. Um, also, we change it to Mad Max, and it's not. I actually think it's the speed, it, uh, the distance of time it takes to cross the lane. Because I noticed that when we change it to Mad Max, it doesn't take as long to get into the other lane. Well, see, that's what, like in my previous video, which I'll. It. Oh yeah, we're coming up to one of those crossroads. There we go. Dum dum dum. And. Yeah, and then we'll cross over it, then it'll do do do. See, that's what I thought it was when I did my first video about this, but from what I've been told, that's not what it is, apparently. Um, Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Now, also, we've brought you... There we go. It's going to cut off again. Do do do. We've also brought you back because we're going to cheat a little bit. Um, so you can see that the, the battery is preconditioning because we're headed to the Euro Supercharger. But in order to get to the Euro Supercharger, we've got to get 
off the highway and go into Euroa and it's a little bit out of the way. Not a, not a major, but a little bit. Um, and on that route, like just before we go into Euroa, there's the Charge Fox Chargers in... It's not Euroa, it's called something else. Anyway, the Shell service station where we've stopped on a number of road trips before. So I checked um, the Charge Fox app about 40 minutes ago and it said both ultra fast chargers there were available um, and functioning. So we're going to stop there on the way and if they're available we'll just charge there instead of going into Euroa to use the, the superchargers. Now interesting, I think though, I can't remember, it's been a while since I've done a road trip, but I think if we use the Charge Fox chargers and not the superchargers, then it's not going to give us the you have X amount of minutes of charging before you can continue. Does that mean it won't like ping you on your phone or whatever? Correct. I, yeah. th I think that's the case. Interesting. I think you only get those notifications if you're using a Tesla supercharger. You don't okay. get that with other chargers. Why am I going? Do you? Don't, I can't remember. That's a bit mean, Elon. Should I blame him directly? It, everyone either blames or rewards him, so why not? Yeah, sorry, Elon. It's your fault. Dom. Cool. So here Sugar. is yeah. the Euroa service. So we're taking this turn off. Oh, I think we're taking the same turn off anyway. So let's turn autopilot off. I suppose we've got 1.6 Ks, we could have kept it on, but... And now, the moment of truth. Justice. Now also, I will also mention, so... He will also mention. I forgot to pack the GoPro that normally shoots at the front of the car. So just imagine in your eyes, mind, mind's eye, oh, this is where that kebab that made me sick. Yeah, that's why I keep ref reference. I keep referencing it. Look how polite you are, you let a bloke through. In a ute. Yeah, you've you, you. It's rented. Yeah, it's a renter. Okay, well, there's no one at the uh, electric vehicle ultra fast rapid. I'm getting Maccas. So I'm getting, I'm not getting any of that tomfoolery. What the hell was that? Although it's only 4.15. I always think it's funny the way you turn. Yeah, U turns off funny. No, like how you do your steering wheel. Your turns aren't that funny. Okay, now we're going to keep, um, actually let's keep this running because this will be interesting because um, now I've got this, hopefully this will be easy because I've got my charge box card so it'll just make it easier to ding. Um, this will be interesting because, because the battery's been preconditioning itself, it's been heating itself expecting to get to a fast charger. So I wonder how fast this will charge. Let's find out. Do I have to come out there? No, you don't. Um, now, I do have... Because why would I want to go out there, quite frankly? Older videos that show you how this all works. It's cold. Lee's out there. Let's see if we just pop the card, plug it in. The last time we came to this service station, we went in there and... Uh, oh, the last charge cost $11.34. That means we've paid... Welcome. Connect OK. Start. Charging station authentication required. There's lots of information on this dashboard. I think he's talking, I'm probably talking over him. Verifying with my card. You are allowed to start charge. OK, but does that mean... Oh, there we go. Jeez, mm, it sounds like an aircraft taking off. Preparing. Wow, that's... Can you hear that? That's really going for it. There we go, we are charging. Blah, 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 blah. And FYI, I've done a terrible job of parking. Have you? Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm just about... Oh yeah, that line is a long way from straight. Yeah, and this line, I'm, I'm over the line. Apologies, I will move the car if I need to. But let's just have a quick look and see how much we get up. So, 
So here's the interesting thing. So when we were plugging into the into the tester superchargers, oh. um, around similar sort of state of charge, around the 32, 20, 32%, we were getting 129, 128 kilowatts. And on this charger, which this is a 350 kilowatt charger, and we were only like, what, like two minutes away from the supercharger. So any preconditioning that was going to happen. That was done. I, I think was mostly done. I, I might be wrong. Um, and we're only getting 103. Not a huge deal. Um, but again, so you see how this, so the navigation doesn't show us. It's still saying go to the supercharger. So I wonder if, yeah, so it's saying go to the supercharger from here. So it, yeah, it doesn't yeah, have the communication. Not that smart. No. SMRT. Yep. Cool. Well, this is we're going to be 35 minutes to full. We're not going to charge to full. We're just going to charge that 80%. Yeah. And then we'll, we'll we'll head off. So probably 10, 20 minutes and, and we'll be on our way. I'm going to go and do a wee. And I might get him a cafe coffee. That's unheard of for somebody from Melbourne. Mm. On that note. So we stayed a little bit longer than we were planning to, um, but we're up to 87% because Simon had to go get a coffee and then I went to the bathroom and... and then Lee was dispelling the myths of Dirty Diesel to the lady in the Volvo over there. Hi. Uh, she she has a, a Model 3 and she was asking questions. Uh, was I, don't, I don't mind yeah. the XC90. It's it was, a beautiful car. It was lovely to, to meet be you. Honest. Um, Catherine, I think her name was. Oh, there you um, go. Yes, so... Was it Catherine? I'm terrible with names. Me too. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Steve. Yeah. Um, yeah, bathrooms here. Oh, bad. I reckon if I peed on the floor, it would smell better. And to the guy in the cubicle next to me, I hope the prostate works out. Right, let's... Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> um, Cover your mouth. Sorry. You could have coughed prostate in... Oh, by the way, just tested the alarm on the <laughs> Tesla Model Y because this knob end walked off and left me in the car and the car locked and I was going to get out to go and, and I thought to myself if I open the door it's going to give me the good news so I waited until I could see Lee and then I cracked the door the horn started going and friggin Mozart started playing is it no it's Beethoven isn't it Dun -dun -dun. hey solar panels solar panels sorry bit obsessed but I think it was Beethoven Da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. Like at concert volume in the cabin of the car. So blew the, my mind. So, so the alarm works. Oh my goodness! I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know what to and, do. And from the outside, the you know the the, the indicators, the has the hazard light gone, the lights are flashing. So that's a good alarm system. Thank thank you for testing it, my friend. You're welcome. Thanks, Elon. <laughs> Whoever made that up has a sense of humour. I know. We'll make the horn go off, but then. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make the music so loud in the car. That was bloody loud. <laughs> well, I guess the joke was on you. It sure was. I Well, no, the joke's on them. I like classical and I'm a bit of a metalhead, so the volume was good and the content. Um, so... <clears throat> okay, we're on the highway. Get out on the highway. <laughs> Autopilot is on. Oh, and it wants us to change lanes already. Yeah, so I'm definitely getting better at this getting autopilot to change no, lanes. because you just changed lanes because a car told you to, but for no reason. No, because we, we're preparing to overtake that car. It's 400 metres away. And no one's going to change back. Yeah. Okay, yeah, no. Sometimes... She's a little sensitive. The, the car tells you to change lanes for no reason and then tells you to change back like a second later for no reason. I reckon at some point it's going to do that, then it's going to play a laughing sound. Like, ha, ha, like, <laughs> like uh, oh, we were just talking about The Simpsons. Well, who was that character? Was, ha, ha, Nelson. Oh, Nelson. Yeah, it's going to do it. We'll call that a Nelson. It's when a Nelson. the car tells you to change lanes when you don't need to. That's a Nelson. From this day forth, that shall be a Nelson. Um, now, again, I'm bad at things, so... It's it, true, he is. Even though I set a trip report I renamed a trip report for this trip. I forgot to reset that trip. Um, we haven't driven 4,000 kilometers today. For that one, yeah. So, nice. so I have, I'm not gonna have much data for this trip, but. Sorry. If you're not, you're not watching my channel for the data. In fact, I was just chatting to Matt, I was chatting to my wife. I was FaceTiming her while Simon was getting his, his coffee. And I said, she said like, how's the day been? I was like, oh no, it's been pretty good. Like, you know, we, we, we filmed a lot of stuff. 
So we've got a lot of content. We have. Um, only, you know, look, it is a little bit all over the place, but I'll try and fix it in post. <laughs> and, and Mandy was like... What he's trying to say is, because I'm here, it's a bit rubbish. No, no, no. It's because I don't script things. I did tell you to check the camera. Like, I've got an idea of what I want to do, and then we sort of Who invited improv. the sun here? But she was saying that, that I'm a little bit all over the place. It's a little bit all over the place. It should be the catchphrase of my channel. <laughs> So it's not a car guy. It's a little bit all over the place. Vote in the vote in the comments. Oh bless. Um, so yes. Yeah, so um, we got eighty five percent in the battery. Um, we got an hour and fifty nine minutes to go. Uh, One hundred fifty four kilometers. Eighty five in the battery. No, eighty seven. We've used two percent since we oh, left. Yes, right. Um, oh, that sun. What a day! It is a beautiful day. It's yeah, it's been it's pretty been miserable fantastic. weather in Melbourne for the last few weeks. Yeah. So like we've had rain constantly for like at least the last week or so because we just we just installed a solar a, a power wall so obviously us it needed to not have a lot of solar although it's been really good i'll be making videos about that you can betcha um my hands overexposed our whole bodies are overexposed everything's overexposed this is a, this is a challenging time to be filming we're driving straight into the sun yeah Anyway, this is going to turn into radio, and I'll try and play some B-roll over it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. We're, we're, we're on the home stretch. We are on the home stretch, and for those playing along at home, I'm drinking McCafe, which is very bad for somebody from Melbourne, and I apologise on behalf of me. <laughs> Smugometer. <laughs> um, he doesn't drink coffee, so he can't be trusted. I'm amazed they let me live in Melbourne. Right, we'll see you in a bit. Hello. The more astute of you, which is pretty much most of you, will have very quickly noticed that I'm not in the car anymore and I'm not sitting next to Simon. And that video that you've just watched was actually filmed about four months ago. Um, and we didn't end up filming the summation on the day because, and I hope you'll, 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 you'll humor me for a moment, I'm going to get a little bit technical. Um, we put an ND filter, we had to put an ND filter on the camera at the beginning of the day. Now, an ND filter... I won't bore you with the details, but basically it's like sunglasses for a camera's lens. So it's like a filter, like a dark filter that you put over the lens. And with this particular lens, in fact, this lens that I'm using right here, um, which is an extra wide lens, sort of bulbous on the front, you can't put a filter on the front. So the way it works, very clever, you put the ND filter between the camera and the lens at the back of the lens. So you don't necessarily see it. And it had been a very long day. And by the time we got to the end of the day, we were driving back to Melbourne. It was getting dark. And we tried to film the summation then. And we like the camera was just too dark. We no matter what we did in the settings, we couldn't make the camera any brighter because both of us had forgotten that we put an ND filter inside the lens. <laughs> we basically left the dark filter in there. And we couldn't film it. And it'd been a long day we were just okay, the heck with this. We'll 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 film the summation tomorrow or next week. And Life just happened, and it's now been four months since we filmed that, and I'm finally getting around to editing it and putting it together. I've, the other challenge is that what you've just watched was actually, you know, it was filmed over a single day, but we also filmed two other videos on that day, but it was all kind of mixed into it together because I don't script things, which is bad, I know. Um, and so there, there's like an hour worth of road trip content that I may never put out there because I just can't work out how to make it fit by itself because this has kind of got the end of that and we're missing the begin. Anyway, I apologize, but let's do the summation now. It's actually good that it's now been four months since that video was recorded because we've had the full three months of enhanced autopilot for me to experience it and use it. And we've driven to Adelaide and back. I've driven to Sydney and back um, with the enhanced autopilot. And here are my thoughts. Also, I've had a month without it. Spoiler alert, obviously, the three-month uh, trial ran out and I have not renewed it. Um, and I've got the points to renew it, but I haven't. So here are my thoughts. I think the lane changing function is fantastic. I think that's really good. I think as long as you're in control of it, as long as you don't say to the car, you change lanes whenever you want, and the car changes lanes when you indicate and tell it to change lanes. Again, you do have to get used to that little bit of tension you give to the steering wheel. If you give too much, it turns it off. But once you get used to that, and it doesn't take long at all, um, the changing lanes things works really well when it works. Because I did have a few instances when I was driving to Sydney and back where I would indicate and it would just sort of go, you know, lane change not available. And I didn't know whether it was because 
the sun was in the way of the cameras, you know, the, the sun was too bright, and it was shining on, there was a reflection on the, I don't, I don't know why, but it just didn't work, and it didn't explain to me why it wasn't working. And I'd have to indicate change lanes myself, and then a minute or two later, I'd change lanes again, and it was working. So, yeah, it, if you ignore that, which isn't, a, it didn't happen often, it happened like once every 20 times sort of thing, so it wasn't, it wasn't that big a deal, but something to be aware of. The, the lane changing, very, very useful. The Navigator and Auto, what an utter waste. Um, maybe in the US where they have more interchanges between highways, so it, 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 you get to use it more often, maybe it's useful. Um, but I found definitely here in Australia, between Melbourne and Adelaide, there was most of the way it didn't work at all because technically we weren't on a highway, so it just didn't work at all. And the times when it does work it's it's too erratic. Um, sometimes it will see the turn off and it'll take the turn off just fine, but it's a 50-50 chance whether it's going to take the turn off or not take the turn off at all. And other times, this has happened about two or three times, where it starts taking the turn off, it indicates, it goes into the lane, and then halfway between changing lanes, it decides, oh no, I need to go back into the lane I was in, and it swerves back into the other lane, which is quite frankly dangerous. So I would actually say don't use Navigate on Auto at all. So that's that one. Um, the summon, very useful. In fact, I missed it. I, I, I had a, I was doing a live streaming um, job for a client of mine in the city a couple of weeks ago and the parking lot where I parked, like I parked and the wall was so close to the driver's side, I actually had to climb over the center console and get out of the car on the passenger side. And in that instance, having someone would have been really useful because I could have gotten to the parking spot, realized I'd sort of parked myself into the car driven forwards, gotten out of the car, closed the door, and then you summon to back the car in. So summon, I think, is useful. Um, the, the smart summon, it's a party trick. It works so slowly, and I think it's good from, on the one hand, I think it's good that it's slow because it's being cautious and you want it to be cautious so it doesn't bump into other cars or pedestrians or anything in a parking lot. But it's so slow and so cautious that you could have walked to your car two or three times already by the time it sort of finally gets to you. So smart summon, not really, not really that, that interesting to me. Um, the auto park also, oh, because there's no button to say, I want, you know, you get the car into position, you go, right, I want to use auto park. There is no button. I'd like a button that I get into the position where I want to park and I push the auto park button and goes, oh, auto park is available. We will now auto park for you. Because the way that auto park works is, you have to get the car into a position where it somehow magically knows that you want it to back into the parking spot or you want it to parallel park and then it'll come up. But by the time it, you know, so often I get into position where I think it's in position, nothing comes up on the screen and they go, okay, fine, whatever, I'll park myself. And I go to the re reverse and just as I'm about to hit reverse, ooh, auto park comes on, but as I hit reverse, it cancels the auto park. So it's like, it's infuriating, quite frankly. I could never get it to work properly. Um, and the backing in, I found the backing in was pretty good, was, was pretty good. Um, parallel parking, the, the one time I got it to parallel park, I thought it did a pretty good job. But it's just being able to get the darn thing to activate is a mystery to me. It's, it's magic. I don't understand it. Um, and not good magic. So, yeah, auto park, yeah, I don't get it. So, I guess what I'm trying to say is, you know, I, I haven't renewed it. You know, I haven't used my points to to, to get to get uh, enhanced autopilot for another three months. I think if I did have a lot of long drives coming up, I would um, use my points to, to get enhanced autopilot because the the lane changing thing alone is very valuable for my use case. Um, and the summon every now and again would be nice, you know, would be nice to have. I wish that Tesla would break it up. And make it sort of a la carte, as it were. So I could, instead of having to pay five thousand one hundred dollars for full enhanced autopilot, I could pay a thousand dollars for the lane changing, and I could pay a thousand dollars for summon, and then I don't have to pay the three extra thousand dollars for the other features and what have you. Um, and it almost feels like, you know, they bundle it because they know the other feature. No, I, you know, that's not fair. I shouldn't, I shouldn't pretend to know what other people think and what other people know, but. If you have confidence in all of those features, you could break them out and go, well, they will stand on their own. And if people see value in them on their own, then people will see value in them on their own. 
I will leave it at that. Um, so yeah, that's 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 using points. Um, I will also say because again, when I recorded this video, I didn't have that many points. Since then, I've gotten tons of referrals. So thank you so much. I, I can't tell you how appreciative I am, as as someone was said, I am. But I'm telling you now, I really appreciate anyone who used my referral code. Um, and what I would suggest is, if you don't have anyone in your life that you think you could use their referral code, absolutely use mine. But before you use my referral code, talk to some talk to some people in the office. Maybe someone in your office has got a Tesla, or maybe someone at your book club has got a Tesla, or what have you. But before you use a person on YouTube's, you know, Tesla referral code, see if you can find someone in your life who has a Tesla and see if you can get their referral code and use their referral code because it'd be nice to, to spread the love with all the referral code stuff. Um, I'm not sure what else I want to say. I think that's everything. Uh, I hope this video was helpful. I hope it was useful. Um, if you have found it helpful, if you have found it useful, please like and subscribe to the channel. If you can, share the channel with as many people as you like. The, the channel's growing nicely, but I'd, I'd love for it to grow even faster because I'd love to just teach more and more people what it's like, you know, living, living with an electric car. I've got some pretty cool, cool videos coming up soon, I hope, um, that I hope will be, be even more useful. So yes, if you have already liked and subscribed, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. And we'll uh, catch you on the next one. Safe and happy driving. Hello, you may have noted. Mm. Hello, the uh, most astute. Mm. No. Ah. Oh, sorry, you're waiting for me, right? Yeah. As you were. Absolutely. What the devil was that? Oh, look at you not swearing. Well done. Don't swear, Lee. Basically, the same. Oh, <laughs> don't make a mess in my car. Hey? Yeah. How do I tell that? And you just exposure at the same time. Oh, look at you. Look at the multitasker. This guy. That guy. I oh, remind me when we stop to change that out of S log. Because it's going to be dark by the time we get back, so S log's not ideal in low light. Wait. When yeah. we stop, change that out of S log. I don't like you. <laughs> yes, you do. That's why I'm here. How, how many other people do exactly what you tell them to? Oh, I did, that wasn't exact actually, because what you said was, remind me when we stop. Should I stop subtle? It's your car. <laughs> it's your face. I don't have a ton of camera gear in front of mine. That's true. <laughs> So here's the interesting thing. You, you like my transition, Simon? Yeah, yeah, Simon, Simon giggled about that. <laughs> now I've got to do it again. <laughs> Skoda, a Skoda VW Audi. What's my channel called? Sorry. I have no idea. <laughs> I see what you did there. So we've done all the filming that we needed to do here in, um, where are we? Bananarama. Bar oh. Baron Dunder. Baron Dunder? Baron Dunder? Baron Duda. Baron Duda. Baron Duda. We're here in the place. We've, we've finished all the filming. Well, we're back in the car because I worked out. Um, no, I should just start again. I'll just start from scratch. While Simon's on his phone. <laughs> That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's on Instagram because, like. It's not very interesting. I'm not very interesting. I understand. I'm sorry. No, please. Okay. I actually really need a wee. Well, do you want to go pee and I'll... I'll there isn't this. any here, I checked. Oh. It's that's a supermarket, not a... Okay, let me do this quick and then you and then you can... It's all right, no, I'm okay. okay. I'm not going to, like, come in... To, there's not going to be a fountain midway through. <laughs> that would be bad. Okay. Could get views, people are into that. Different channel. Yeah, that's your Twitter channel. account. Yeah. yeah. Hi, I'm Lee. Welcome to the channel. I hope you're having a lovely day. I'm a short, overweight, middle-aged white dude. I've got thinning brown hair, black gloss. I'm wearing a black tee. Shirt? Sure. It's it's actually distracting with you doing faces. I'm not doing faces. I, I was watching your f eyebrows. You're like, and I have to beep that out. Yeah. My eyebrows. And the, and the fact that I'm swearing. Anyway, okay. 
I'll try again. <laughs> I'll behave, I'm sorry. You're the one who needs to pee. I can hold it all day long. Right, okay. Yeah. Have at it. Okay, um, welcome back. We've just around in wherever the f we are, f nowhere. Sorry. So no. many beeps. So many beeps. Delete all that. Don't you put that on the internet. <laughs>